You're blowing up the moon? Are you serious? The moon? You mean, like the moon in the sky moon? Mm-hmm. The moon that orbits our planet. The moon is going to blow up? Oh no! We won't be able to admire it anymore! You bastard! How could you go after the moon of all things? So much hatred towards humans. Isn't there any way to stop him? Hey, wait. How are you going to do that? Shoot a nuclear missile up there? Who knows? I don't really know the details either. You don't know? Well, I thought you were orchestrating this. Unfortunately, no. I wish I could finish the job using the technology that the humans invented themselves. But the good doctor at Des X ended up being useless. So I decided to go with Plan B. So, you're gonna blow up the moon using the technology outside of Earth? Aha! Uh -huh. You're gonna use angels this time, aren't you? Hmm. Desco senses the arrival of a new final boss. No matter what kind of power he's going to use, all life will be lost if the moon is destroyed. We can't let that happen. Yeah, this is serious. There are going to be meteors falling from the sky, like in those disaster movies. Multiple tsunamis due to irregular tides and other abnormal phenomena from changes in our rotational energy. There won't be any chance for human survival. Oops. And the fear energy will be gone, along with the humans. So no more netherworld either. You sound like you're enjoying this. You're going to die too if that happens. Die? Hmm. I wonder if I really will. What do you mean by that? Don't you have a plan to survive your own disaster? I don't know. I might or I might not. Please stop this. You've done enough. You're not going to please anyone by doing this. Huh? He's totally ignoring her. So he really can't hear the voice of an angel. Judge Nemo, I'll take this as a challenge. You've intentionally revealed your plan in the hopes that we'll stop you. Yep, that's exactly why I told you. Will you accept my challenge, Valva Torres? Do I have a choice? So this is the kind of deal you struck with the president, eh? <laughs> Think it's unfair? No! If this is how you try to get what you want, then do as you wish. I'll crush every attempt you make, and then I'll crush that grinning face! Ooh, nice. That makes me want to see your face contorted with pain. Sounds like we're running out of time. Let's go, everyone! Um, are we really going... Indeed! We are going to the moon! Final episode! The final battle! The moon, Earth, and the promise! You're blowing up the moon? Ah, oh, great eccentricism. Uh, yeah, that, that's that's not good. It's definitely not good for the fear energy. Or the fear energy, as I like to call it. Ah. Uh, another day, another final chapter in this guy. Uh, why, this would be the third final chapter now, wouldn't it be? Haha. <laughs> You, you, all, you all thought that the last one was the real last one this time, didn't you? <laughs> Stupid. Stupid you, you, YouTubers. You, you, you thought that. You, you thought that they, they said final chap, so, so you, you thought it was, but it's not, and maybe that. Okay, I'm done. Um. Yeah, they, they like pulling a fast one, don't they? Ugh. <sighs> Uh, truth be told, if you just want me to tell you, this is the second to last chapter. Um, uh, there's no point in keeping that joke going. Uh, as a result, I am most certainly going to be done with the monsters by the time I get to the end of that. So, it looks like we're going to have to dip into the extra characters before we um, go 
uh, uh, as opposed to waiting to do those into the uh, when I do the post story battles. Um, you know, it's not. There's no re real reason to hold off. I mean, I'm pretty sure most, if not all, of you already know who the extra battles are. You could look them up. And I mean, okay, if you played a single this guy game, you already know who probably four of them. You already know who half of them are already. And then there's maybe two. There's maybe one surprise character that you didn't see coming. The rest is like, you know, you expected it. But the good thing is, in the later games, uh, there'll be a shitload of DLC characters coming eventually. When does DLC actually start? I couldn't tell you. Uh, I, they're still releasing DLC um, characters in Japan. And uh, that game came out in uh, February. So, you know, there's quite a bit of DLC to look forward to. And I do plan on getting uh, all the characters because leveling up characters in this game is fun. Uh... As long as they, as long as you don't, as long as the, they take their time patching up that dupe trick, because there's a lot of equipment and innocence I still need to duplicate before I bother getting the DLC. Uh, oh uh, yeah, the, if you don't know what the duplication trick is, uh, go to GameFAQs or GameFAQs.com, go to the Disguise 4 board, and it's a sticky at the top. It is... The greatest thing since the Postal Service. Which is getting its funding cut. Such a shame. Anyway. Don't be so tense, Fenric. We will definitely stop the destruction of the moon, I promise. My lord. Plus, it's about time you started trusting the other members of the party. The only things I trust are my own abilities and my lord, Velvatores. I will trust nothing else, nor will I rely on them. This is the way of Fenric. Ah, you're right. Let's hurry. On to the moon! So, how do we get there? Shouldn't your dad be able to prepare a rocket or some kind of a space shuttle for us? This is the final battle! Desko wants something cooler, like a space battleship or, or a super robot! That would help a lot. It's not like there's just gonna be an old man and his bunnies waiting for us on the moon. Instead of wasting that kind of labor and money, I've already made a dimension tunnel to the moon. We'll simply need to talk to the dimension guide as usual. Then we'll instantly be on the moon. What? That's so not cool! Boring! Where's the fun in that? Shut up! I'll turn you into floating space debris if you keep whining, you damn lass! How could you speak like that to Big Sis? Desko will never forgive you! You should only say those things when you're not hiding behind your older sister. I'm just saying. Is it just me or is Benrick in a worse mood than usual? He might actually turn Buka into floating space debris. It's only natural. The werewolf's power source, the moon, is being threatened. That's not the only reason. The moon is the symbol of my loyalty to my lord. Those who try to taint such a thing must be abolished as quickly as possible. Oh my! Did you hear that, Miss Desko? Something about the moon being the symbol of his loyalty to his lord. I'm super curious! Desko is curious too, Big Sis. What about you, Miss Volcanus? Yep, yep. The truth about the relationship between those boys is about to be revealed. It sending shivers down my spine. <laughs> oh, Miss Volcanus, that's a little vulgar, isn't it? Oh! <laughs> you too, Big Sis. You're drooling. Now, as we promised last time, Shall we continue to work together to discover the truth? <laughs> For all women like this? I'm never getting married. A measles solemnly vowed to the moon. The moon. 3,474 kilometers in diameter, with a surface area of 38 million square kilometers. 
Its silver glow, the reflection of the sun's light, gives demons such as werewolves a tremendous amount of power. It also serves an important role for the families of darkness. So, this is the moon. I've always pictured it as a barren field, but the other side seems different. Not only have they invaded our sanctuary, but they also built these filthy things. I don't know who they are, but I hope they don't think they can get away with doing this. That's right! Only a final boss is entitled to do something like this. In other words, only Desko is allowed to destroy the moon! No, you're not allowed to do that either. Hopefully we can negotiate and settle this without unnecessary bloodshed. Our Lady Archangel would say the same thing. Enough with your rational, objective thoughts. You've already come this far with us, you hypocritical bitch. <gasps> What's the matter, big sis? Your face turned all red. <laughs> what is it? Just spit it out. <sighs> I can't do it anymore! Wait! Ah, the oxygen! Crap! I'm gonna die! Uh, Miss Fuka, were you holding your breath this whole time? Of course I was! Even elementary schoolers know that there's no oxygen on the moon! I suppose middle schools don't teach kids that demons and angels don't need oxygen to survive. And while we're on the subject, I'll teach you one more thing. Dead people don't need oxygen either. Hey, I am so not dead! So you won't admit it? Even when you're on the moon? Your power of denial is rather impressive. <sighs> you're right. How could we talk on the moon if this was really happening? This is definitely a dream. <laughs> it was stupid of me to hold my breath. I would do anything to stop you from breathing altogether. Just leave her alone, Fenric. You'd only be wasting your time. That's enough chatting. It looks like we've got special guests. What do you think you're doing here? No trespassing allowed. We're not trespassers. We're here to stop you from destroying the moon. Stop us? I don't think so. It's our duty to destroy the moon. We won't allow any actions that aren't approved by our leader. All right, then bring us to your leader. We don't have the right to do so. To see our leader, you must fill out a request form and go through the official channels. A request form and official channels? That sounds really bureaucratic. Who are you guys? We're aliens. Aliens? These very business-like creatures are aliens? Jeez, where's the fun in that? Seriously? These messengers from space are our next enemies? Desco is getting excited! Aliens or not, it doesn't matter! I'll kill anybody that tries to destroy the moon! Oh, please don't hit me! Who are you people? I'm calling the cops if you don't leave! We are demons! Well, not all of us, but most of us are. Bring on whatever you got! There's no reason for us to follow the rules you created for yourselves. That being said, I'm going to abolish you! Demons? One of the unscientific creatures of the universe? Like angels and gods? I don't want some alien telling me what I am. <laughs> At least we finally agree on something, Thief Angel. I thought we were going to negotiate to avoid bloodshed. Talking doesn't seem to be working with these businessmen. Plus, you're in a hurry, right, Mr. Werewolf? <laughs> I'm still not fond of that know-it-all look of yours. Don't think you're doing me a favor. <laughs> I would never think that. And here we have the very last class in the game that you have yet to see, the Android.
I named my android Cosmos. Weaponry designed in a female form. Its abilities increase under certain conditions. Yeah! Yep, when the, as the left is the last unit, stats are increased by 100%. Double. Alright, so I shall begin now describing the android, which is a very odd and interesting class. Androids are a strange class, but they're fun to have around. If nothing else comes to mind, at least have an android level so that they can be your last-ditch character when fighting a boss. When all else fails, an android with one-man army in effect can be pretty impressive. That's their ability. So, but the annoying thing is, for you to get it to work, you've had to you have to have all nine other characters die, and then the ability takes place and your stats will double. Uh, those circumstances are pretty rare and hard to take uh, big advantage of. Uh, so it's at least fortunate that the actual stat increase is significant. Gimmick Body is great for leveling. And just to reveal it now, Gimmick Body is all aptitudes become 200%, but base stats are halved. Uh, if you give a freshly reincarnated android a high-end weapon and watch them dust everything while they're getting up to speed. After hitting level cap and, meeting, um, and getting many reincarnations, this ability can steal a ton of points. So make sure that it's worthwhile before keeping it on in the long haul. Androids with enough time in, in character world don't get nearly as much of a boost from their gear relative to a newer android, and the required weapon and gear stats to make up for their loss increases as well. That doesn't mean you shouldn't junk uh, gimmick body either. The better your equipment, the more powerful the ability becomes. An android with a rank 40 weapon properly leveled can get so many points that from the aptitude hike that even the loss of stats at level quad 9 is livable. Toggle the ability on and off, no I'm sorry, on and ed off, another typo, to see which configuration is better at any given time. I don't know why the guy spent so much ta time talking about this specific difference, considering ideally you'll want to get your android to level 300% aptitude anyway, because uh, honestly that is the biggest uh, down downfall to the uh, to the android class. Their aptitudes are garbage. The android, the base one, has uh, an aptitude of 80 in everything. Uh, the the uh, balance is that their base stats are ridiculously high. Uh, while I have not been reading base stats for anything else, uh, let me give you a comparison. The battle suit has a uh, base stats of HP 28, SP 6, attack 16, defense 16, intelligence 6, resistance 10, hit 16, and speed 16. That means your stat, when you level up, your stats will go up by that much every single level. And you can, can influence your base stats when you create a new character. When you create a genius level character, you can add more into base stats uh, to increase what, when you level up. The android, for example, gets HP 28, SP 14, attack 20, and then everything else is 16. So, uh, really good base stats, aptitudes, uh, sorry, base stats that um, when you can increase, uh, they level up like a monster. Uh, the downside is they, um, they take a lot more experience than other classes to level up, and again, they don't receive armor much armor benefits for a while because their aptitudes are so low so you would have to go into the character world a ridiculous amount of times if you wanted to get one with 300 percent fortunately if you find a nice fellow on game facts who have there are plenty of people online who are making uh level one android pirates that with um 300 percent aptitudes and every single skill and ability in the game if you if you happen to see him capture him and you will have this uh, fighting force for yourself. Very nice people out there that did the hard work for you to benefit from. Uh, there are some other downsides. They have no weapon proficiencies. They learn like the first two skills of every weapon by like their max tier. So you have to learn, you have to go spend some time as another class and then reincarnate into an android if you want skills or go through the character world to learn them. Uh, they have a movement of 4 and a throw range of 3, sadly, but at least they have a 25% resistance in every, to every single element. 
Uh, as for their other abilities, Revival, when health is below 25%, the character will recover full health at the end of the turn. Uh, not, not bad if you... If, if you're at the kind of area where enemies do a lot of damage, but not enough to one-shot you. And if you... Actually, if you have, like, a level quad 9 android that happens to benefit from double stats, this um, ability might save your life. And then the last one, basic rule, this character won't do damage to allies. Um, as long as you're not a moron, and you don't select your allies to attack, this should not be a problem. So this ability is useless. The, uh, for the classes, we have the android, the cyborg, the automaton, the humanoid, the replicant, and the genocider. Genocider has a base aptitude of 105 in every stat. So at least it's above 100 by the end, but again, 105 is very poor. You might be asking yourself at this point, why do I want an android? Uh, one, they look cool, uh, but really it's the stark increase in base stats, and the idea was, in the original Disgaea game, there was a class called the Majin, and the Majin learned was proficient with every single weapon and had the best stats and was pretty much broken. Afterwards, they, um, the Maj they changed the Majins to look like really evil Super Saiyan 3 Gokus, and, um, they were still really good in Disgaea 2, where they had the one-man army ability and um, S proficiencies in every weapon, so that was good. But then, ever since onward, they've been getting nerfed harder and harder. Uh, and this, in Disgaea 3, their proficiencies were crap. Um, and they didn't learn any weapon skills from themselves anymore, because they did away with the, with the weapon proficiency with the, you know, having an A or an S and stuff in weapons. And now in this game, they've nerfed them even harder. So, uh... Oh, and you, and you can't even get an Android until you start a new game plus, and then you can, it, be, you'll be able to get them in the Senate. So, you can't even have them on your first playthrough. Uh, the only reason you want one is because a lot of people are making these Android pirates, and that would make it easy to capture them and get all the skills that way. Very... You know, makes it faster. Um, I think they're I think they're cool. The I think Nipponichi went a bit overboard in trying to balance these characters. They're not really worthwhile as a final class at all in comparison to how they used to be. But eh, they still have a kind of charm. I I, I kind of like. I, honestly, I do. I did like the old Majin look, and I think the androids should have replaced the battle suits and have those abilities. And they should have brought the Majin back because, you know, I, think, I just think the androids are cool. So, that's it for the androids. Um, all in all, <laughs> probably not worth the effort. And, uh, you know, Nipponunchi really overcompensated in trying to balance them. Here she comes. Another chapter down. Now, you aliens! If you don't want to die right here, then tell us how to stop the destruction. It's impossible to stop it now. I'm just a worker here. You need to speak to our leader. Do you not understand me? I want to know how to stop the destruction. I'll kill you if you don't tell me. Or even if you don't know. Unable to process. Please, cease this unreasonable threat. Unreasonable? You're the one who's trying to destroy the moon because of an order from your leader, chump! Tell me everything you know, or else. Yeah, yes, okay, I will. There's an ignition device over there. If you can turn it off. Oh, but the plan is already in the final stages. Wrecking the device may be the only way to turn it off now. So we just have to destroy it? The device will stop if you destroy it. But its reactor core may go out of control and... And? Then what will happen? In the worst case, the reactor core may create a black hole. A black hole? Isn't that, like, a much bigger deal than just destroying the moon? 
destroying the moon or creating a black hole. It'll all be over for us either way. Judge Nemo, did he plan this out with either possibility in mind? How cunning of him. No. What are we supposed to do? Help us, Lady Archangel. Damn it! After getting this far! Gah! Is there anything we can do? Think harder, Fenric! What is your brain good for? Think of a way to save the moon! Mr. Fenric! The cold and calm Fenric is... This is the first time I've ever seen him freak out like this. That's how much the moon means to him. A man who serves me should never lose himself like that in the face of such a minor crisis. This isn't like you, Fenric. My lord, I thought I promised you that we will stop this. Uh, however, my lord... Just think about this. If the ignition device is activated, the moon will be destroyed, and then our worlds will be gone as well. On the other hand, if we destroy the device, a black hole may be created, in the worst case scenario. Should we just let the moon be destroyed because we fear the worst case scenario? Or should we destroy the ignition device and bet our worlds on the possibilities of a positive result? The answer should be clear. Is my servant, who I place all of my trust in, incapable of figuring out such a simple riddle, Fenric? My apologies, my lord. It must have been the intense power emanating from the moon. We shall go destroy the ignition device. That's too risky. You're being irrational. We're well aware of that. However, this is what must be done. Unable to process. Demons seem not to be following the universal standards of common sense. Retreat! Even aliens are scared of black holes, huh? Aren't you scared, Big Sis? Not at all. This is just a dream, after all. Right. A dream. Plus, as long as I'm with you, you're gonna protect me, right? Of course, Big Sis! By the way, why were those aliens trying to destroy the moon? That Nemo guy! Does he have aliens under his control, too?